Evening guys, Joe from Vapology UK here. Uh, first of all, I just want to apologise for the bit of a uh, background noise that's going on. I've got the window open. Probably get a bit of a word as well that the fango because it's extremely hot here in Manchester this evening. So I do apologise. But we've got two, two juice reviews coming for you. These have been sent to me, I say sent to me, they were given to me at Vape Expo back in May by the other guys at VDL, Vape Distribution Limited. So cheers, guys, as always. So got the two flavours, um, I've had a few flavours from before with the guys that distribute Diamond Mist across the UK um, and if you look back at my previous videos I've got the, the Tombs and the Project X liquids that they sent to me if you want to check out the review, go check out the liquids, they were great, can't argue with that um, they, were, they were, they were good, they were good mouth to lung liquids these are definitely sub on liquids that I'm going to be reviewing today as you can see on the, the side over here we've got the two flavours, so we're going to go for the one that's on the top there which is the Pineapple Orange Mango Yogurt the POM so I've got this running on the X-Cube 2 with the Temple RDA we've got this running at 6.3, so let's get it whack it up to 55 just to give you a bit of a bit of a go give it a fresh whip, so look there's the bottle, as you see, lovely design there, nice and bright, all your necessary warnings on there, you, you've got your triangle, you've got in super small writing, you've got all the distribution information, uh, on that side we've got all the warning labels as always, so let's have a go, it's got a dual candle building there, just a quick simple one, I had to make the coils really large, I'm going to show you in a second the curism because of the size of the deck on the temple. So if you have a quick look, hang on, quick, I'll be, I'll worry you'll be able to see that. Oops, dripping everywhere. It's not going to focus, please focus for me. No, it's not going to happen, it's because of the poor light in here. Unfortunately, all my lights have decided to die on the same day. So I need to go get some bulbs. Uh, but yeah, the deck's really big on it, so I'm asking the, the cause. Looking at this, is one, two, three. looking at eight aside just so it'll fit the uh, the two posts uh, but dual coil like I said just a normal camphor build running at 55 watts you can see a nice pop there great cloud production I mean I'm only running at 55 I could definitely go higher than that but I don't I'm not going to for the purpose of this review. Right. This is the first time I've tried this liquid. Um, just now, the blind taste test. I know what the flavours are because it's on the ball. Can't do it. It's not got a funky name. It's not like a Richardson's special liquid or anything like that. It's uh, pineapple orange mango yogurt. You def the first hit you get is the mango and the yogurt. It tastes just like you, you're eating a mango yogurt and then subtly in the background you get your pineapple and then right at the end you get that lovely little citrus burst just at the end which is really nice and uh, quite palate cleansing to be honest the predominant flavour is the mango and the yogurt um, which is strange because this has got pineapple. I often find that pineapple liquids are quite overpowering, but this is uh, a definitely got it right. You get all three flavors in a series, um, and it's nice the way that the orange cuts in at the end, just give that bit of a of a, of a refreshing palate cleanse. Um, you can taste the creaminess of the mango. It tastes absolutely lovely, absolutely fantastic. Let's finish the last bit of that water, so. Uh, can have a clean mouth for the next bit but yeah that is a lovely liquid um it's not yogurts are not something i'm genuinely into i genuinely find myself more a custard man more than anything uh i don't know why you'll be able to see this i'm going to try and get it around for the clear bit of the ball but as you can see it's not too thick but not too weak either i'm trying to see on the bottom if it tells me what the mix is No, it doesn't. But I would have, I would assume that's a 70-30. It's not too thick. 
it's not too runny, it's not too thick, not too worrying, absolutely perfect in there. Uh, running on that temple, it's lovely. Uh, as always, the X-Tube 2 is a good solid device, um, gives that the power you need. Um, let's give it a go. 170. Just to see how the flavour holds up on the higher Re-wick, re re grip just so slightly. Okay, just to see how it holds up on the higher, higher um, wattage. Because some flavours, especially I found with fruit flavours, you sort of disappear very quickly on the higher wattage. Wattage, that's why I started at 55. And um, this is only a point three, so. Okay, so on the higher wattage, the yoghurt is a lot more pronounced, it's, that is the very first thing you get. Uh, the mango is muted, it's not as strong as it was before, but that pineapple and the orange has come through a lot more. Um, pineapple is still not overpowering like I've found before on all the liquids, but that, even on the higher wattage, you're getting all the flavours, but it depends on what you like. I quite like the mango flavour, so I probably want this at a lower wattage. But that is what is lovely. It's even at seventy watts, it's perfectly fine. It's not, it's not killing the fruit flavours uh, as I often find. Let's just have one more puff on that before I go. Clouds, lovely. So let's move on to Ohm Alley, which is a pistachio pastry. I love pistachios, and I love pistachio ice cream. I love pistachio pastries. They are my favourite nuts and my favourite type of ice cream uh, and I'm hoping this is going to be good, like I said, it's going to be another blinder so I've not, not tested this at all yet um, Nice colour on the liquid Still getting used to this new camera so I'm sort of backwards at the moment um, Like I said, nice colour on the liquid You've got your all Alley symbol There Let's Turn that round the right way, so you've got all your symbols in your triangle there no writing on this one, it's all on the one side very small writing again as always got this running on the Smock Guardian 3 pipe with the j Indestructible from Wismec right, so this is just a single coil uh, fuse clapton we're in at point 0.2 let's give this a quick drippity drip Let's see how we get on. Make sure my arrivals up properly. Perfect. So I'm running this. Let's turn that up. So it's 45 to begin with. Right, so that at 45 watts is, is sublime. But I'm going to turn it up for the purpose of this review. Uh, on the first inhale, you definitely get that the nuttiness, the pistachio. More the pistachio ice cream type of pistachio rather than the, the pistachio nut but out of the bag. Uh, more of a sweet pistachio. Um, you then get sort of like a, like a, a pecan danish type of pastry taste, not the actual pecan danish but that style of pastry, the puff pastry with a bit of sweet over the top and then right at the end of a really subtle ice cream like vanilla ice cream like it's got in the picture really really subtle so let's turn this up let's go for 60 Come on, sort of this thing so slow. There we go, 60 watts. A lot, going at around about 3.7 volts. So, as you can see, the cloud production obviously with the high wattage has come up perfect. 
loads of flavour. At the higher wattage, the amalgamation of the pastry and the nut is much more pronounced. Um, it's a lot like biting into a, a proper pastry. That creamy vanilla ice cream we taste um, is still very subtle right at the end, um, but it's absolutely lovely. I'm not sure whether this could be an all day bait. It is nice. But I can, I can see this being very sickly after a while. I will have to go through and let everybody know. But it's nice. So let's go through liquids and give you a, a full breakdown. So pineapple orange mango yogurt doesn't mute at higher wattages like it does with like a fine with other fruits um, lower wattage definitely the mango is more pronounced as, a, as it was the strongest flavor as I turned it up that faded away a little bit still there right at the draw the very first intake with the yogurt then on the exhale the pineapple and the orange came through uh, definitely an all-day bake it's nice and smooth creamy and that orange right at the end cleansing the palate keeping it nice and fresh um, and this would be a good vape for people that um, get the proverbial vape, vapor's tongue um, to cut through your regular all day vape um, people will and it's, it's just one of the things I've had it uh, go and have a look at Vaping with Vic at the moment he's got it um, his is brought on by a cold so it's a little bit longer but I have had vapor's tongue and it's because you're just so used to the, your everyday vape that you need to mix it up a little bit and you'll get rid of it straight away that is a good solid 8 out of 10 I, I really enjoyed it O'Malley um, great at lower and high wattage um, the pistachio pastry flavours on the lower wattage were sort of separated Pe you got the uh, pistachio first not pecan sorry then the, 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 the uh, nice sweet paste puff pastry and that sole vanilla ice cream at the end higher wattage uh, more of an amalgamation of the um, pastry and pistachio nut we're still with that vanilla ice cream just at the end just to cut through it absolutely lovely that is a good solid seven and a half maybe even an eight but I don't think this is an all-day vape whereas the pom definitely is an all-day vape you could vote that all day um, good uh, daybreak vape stick it in a, in, an ad, in a fresh build smoke it for an hour or so, go back to your regular vape. Um, again, I want to say a massive thank you to uh, VDL Vape Distribution I made. Um, they are a, a great supporter of everything that we do in the UK, in the reviewer scene. Uh, they're often sending out flavors for people to review. I, I apologize again that it's taken me so long to get through to review these. Obviously, as I said in my uh, my other video recently, well, things have, have come and gone in life that I needed to sort out before I put my full attention to the channel. Uh, but I'm back now, and again, sorry guys, but Vape Distribution, you've done it again, you've picked two great liquids that you're going to bring to the UK from the US, and they're going to be big sellers, I can't, I can't say they won't be. Um, next review will be coming up as soon as possible. There's also going to be a video regarding the giveaway that I'm going to be doing for, where is it gone? <coughs> Oops, dropped everything. There it is. The Theorem Atomizer from Jabo and Suck My Mod from Wismec. That's going to be a giveaway because I've got two of them. Um, I've got reviews for hardware coming up, including the Smock Guardian, the Indestructible, Temple RDA, Smock XQ2. I'm going to have a comparison video between the RX200 and the RX200S. Um, I've also got the mini vault with the reaper tank from iJoy to review I've got a book ton of liquids to get through so it's, this channel's going to be busy as well as the other stuff that I'm doing I'm going to be doing a weekly blog and I'm also going to have got a special video coming out regarding the loads debate that happened this evening um, which is the 4th of the 7th uh, 2016 um, I've done a, a massive ton of notes that I'm going to sort of go through again maybe watch the, the speech again um, and just to make sure that I get everything so that I can provide 
good, clear, concise information to you guys, and obviously give you my views on it all. Um, and that's that's really what's coming up on the channel. So keep having a look. As always, I want you to like, comment, and subscribe. Please hit me up on the Twitter, which is up there, that side there. Um, I'm always more than happy to, to be active. Uh, please do message me on Twitter, message me on YouTube. Um, I'm, I will always respond to you as quick as possible. Um, and again, guys, I, I do it for you guys more than anything. I enjoy making the videos. And it's, it's a great thing um, for not just me, but for you guys as well. To know that we've got companies like Make Distribution Limited supporting the review we're seeing and making sure that we can bring uh, great flavours to you. So as always, guys, happy days and vapor.